Crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet. And explore the secret world below. With me, Nick on the Rock. Mount St. Helens, one of a dozen stratovolcanoes in the Cascades, and one of hundreds of cone volcanoes in the ring of fire that rims the Pacific Ocean. Cannons ready to go off every few centuries. But which cone will erupt next? The Mount St. Helens explosion on May 18, 1980 took many by surprise. In the initial few seconds of the eruption, a gas-charged blast up to 500 miles an hour came up and over this ridge, sweeping over everything. Trees that were 150 feet tall and 10 feet across snapped like toothpicks and carried into the next valley beyond. Less than half of the world's 1,000 plus volcanoes have global positioning system receivers installed. And even fewer are considered well monitored, the result of high costs and difficulty in maintaining equipment in unforgiving environments. But the 800 million people who live near active volcanoes may soon have much more time to evacuate when their mountain rumbles to life. Since this mountain blew 40 years ago, geologists have learned much more about how stratovolcanoes work. With each new eruption worldwide, scientists are gathering new data and developing new techniques, all in the hopes of forecasting future eruptions. 85.4. GPS stations have been deployed all over the volcano, including in the crater, to gather that data. So the data we're collecting today and, and all of the data that's collected by the scientists that are working on Mount St. Helens um, helps us better understand the volcano. And when we do that, we can translate our findings to stakeholders, land managers, um, emergency managers as well, when the volcano starts to get in a state of unrest. And then that information then gets relayed to the public because the ultimate goal is to keep people safe. Active volcanoes are in a continual state of transition with regular measurements of gravity, seismic, ground deformation, and satellite radar, USGS geologists at the Cascade Volcano Observatory can piece together a model for the present state of the volcano and better detect early stages of unrest. In addition, a brand new glacier the Crater Glacier has formed and grown in the shadow of the steep crater walls. A rare circumstance where glacial ice is advancing due to favorable local conditions. The crater of Mount St. Helens, 40,000 years of repeated eruptions recorded in the steep walls above a steaming lava dome an exciting laboratory for geologists to continue to learn about the history of the mountain and a training ground for geologists looking to a future of volcanic hazards around the world.